Our cover story tonight is from Saudi Arabia. This weekend, two major oil installations were hit by drone strikes. The attack has immediately cut off more than half of Saudi Arabia's oil supply. This can very well disrupt the global supply as well. The pictures pretty much tell the story. This was a highly disruptive drone attack. It happened at two locations. The Kures oil fields and the Abkek refinery. Both of them were owned, are owned in fact, by state oil giant Saudi Aramco. They're part of Saudi Arabia's critical infrastructure. These two facilities produce well over 5 million barrels of oil per day. That's more than 5% of the global crude supply. Now this supply has taken a hit and it could take weeks to fix. As a result, global oil prices shot up today and markets have tanked. These images are not helping sentiment. American satellites have captured widespread destruction. While this is a big concern, it isn't the only concern. Financial implications are just one part of this problem. This attack could escalate political tensions in West Asia, and that is the bigger worry. This is an attack on the jugular vein of Saudi Arabia's oil industry. As I said, both the facilities are owned by Saudi Aramco, the crown jewel of Saudi Arabia. It's an 85-year-old company. It is the biggest oil company in the world. A Bloomberg report says it is the most profitable company in the world. Saudi Aramco's main business is pumping oil and then selling it around the world. It was recently in the news for its planned investment in India's Reliance Industries. Here is a breakdown of this company. Saudi Aramco operates the world's largest single hydrocarbon network. It manages well over 100 oil and gas fields in Saudi Arabia. This includes the world's largest onshore and offshore oil fields. The company reported a net income of well over $100 billion in the last financial year. $100 billion. In the first half of 2019, it has already reported an income of nearly $47 billion. Through Aramco, Saudi Arabia became the biggest oil producer in the world. The kingdom has 18% of the world's proven petroleum reserves. So Aramco is poised to dominate the oil market for the foreseeable future. And Saudi Arabia wants to make the most of it. It has been gearing up to launch an IPO of Aramco. And if that happens, this will be the largest IPO in history. But that may have to wait. With more threats of more attacks now coming Saudi Arabia's way, the threats are coming from the Houthi rebels of Yemen. The Houthis have claimed responsibility for these drone attacks. They have been fighting Saudi Arabia and Yemen since 2015, and they are backed by Iran, a regional rival of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia says Iran has given the Houthis weapons and logistical support. The Houthis dislodged the president of Yemen. The Saudis want to reinstall him to power. In four years, the last four years, the Saudis have been driving the Houthis into a corner in Yemen. This attack is a reply. It is also a message. The Houthis are now better equipped to fight. And America is already blaming Iran for what has happened. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has said that Iran has, quote-unquote, launched an unprecedented attack on the world's energy supply. Iran, of course, has denied these charges. In Guna Harfa and Farafekani Haro, we are going to be able to get the government of Iran to be able to get the government of the Yemen and the government of the Yemen. این گونه حملات و به صلاح اقدامات دفاعی رو به جمهوری اسلامی ایران نسبت بدن واقعا در راستای همون دروغ حداکثری هست که پس از ناکامی هایی که داشتن دارن مرتکب میشن